Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018. So we are here with this problem 12 of your paper. This problem 12 is a problem of analysis. So let us firstly have a look. Let A, B, C belongs to R. Which of the following values of A, B, C do not result in the convergence of the series? So we have a series and we have to find out A, B, C such that uh, the, uh, the, the, the series do not converge. Now what you have to do, you have to pick correct option among these. Alright, so firstly try to understand the meaning of the question. You have this set. Okay, it's not the value, it's actually a set. So you have this set of ABC, you have this set of ABC, you have four sets of ABC which consist of values of ABC. All right, now you have to check which set will not imply the convergence. That means it can happen that for some values inside, let us say this is, this is option A. Okay, let us say this is your answer. So it may happen that for some values of A, B, C inside this set A, the series converges. But let us say for only one value inside this set A, the, uh, the, the series is not converging. That means your, this is your correct answer. What I mean to explain here, I want to say that the question is not saying that for every value inside this set, this series will not converge. Are you getting my point? So let me let us say that we have B as our answer. Let us say B is our answer. So it, it, it doesn't mean that for every value of A, B, C, we satisfy these three condition, this series is going to diverge. Okay, so it, it can happen that for only one value, this is happening that this series is diverging. So that will be our answer. Are you getting my point? So what I will do, I will firstly tell you how to solve this question in the exam and then after that what I will do I will I will tell you how you can generalize your result all right so in for that matter let us name your series as summation un all right so you have n to the power b log of n to the power c all right where n is varying from 3 to infinity. Now firstly check this thing that you have this as your series. So I will go directly to option C and in option C you see A is 1 and B is greater than or equal to 0 and C is less than 1. What I will do, I will just fix my B to be 0 and C to be uh, let me say less than minus, uh, let us say it's minus 1. Alright, so what will be summation un then? Summation un will be summation 1 by log n to the power minus 1. Now, which is equal to summation log n. Alright, now you know that log n, okay, log n itself as a sequence is a divergent sequence that means when n goes to infinity this quantity goes to infinity as n goes to infinity now what do you know about series convergence what is the necessary condition for convergence of series you know that if we say that if summation un is convergent okay this is a note for you this is called necessary condition if summation un is convergent, then this will imply that un should go to 0 as n goes to infinity. Alright, so this is necessary. What is necessary that you cannot say a sequence is convergent, so sorry, a series is convergent until this goes to 0. It doesn't mean that if it will go to 0, then your series will convergent. But it is saying that if it doesn't go to 0, that means your series cannot converge. In. This is called necessary condition for series convergence. Let us write this as your note. Now you know that log n is going to infinity. Therefore, this series is divergent. Why? Because your nth term of this series is not going to 0. So you got your C option. Alright, so 
what i was telling you that inside this set okay what is that set it is a set which uh, let me write this set properly it consists of a b c okay let me write them as ordered pair such that a is 1 b is greater than 0 and c is less than this is your set so inside this set we got a value such that your series is divergent that means that this set is not implying that your series will converge all right so i am not saying that for every value this is happening it may happen that for some value it will converge all right so it's an exercise for you for your knowledge purpose it's not it has nothing to do with the question but for your knowledge purpose let us just check it yourself whether there is a x uh, there is abc inside it such that this uh, series will converge so you got your set your c answer is correct all right that means a b and d are actually wrong so it means that a b d are actually implying the convergence part are you getting my point now so now let us proceed okay proceed where to prove the generalized result okay to prove the generalized result for the convergence of this series so let me write your series again here so firstly we need to think about this a since we are doing it general way so we need to think about this a let us say this a is negative then this series will not be a positive term series now since it is not a positive term series that means the general test that you can use you cannot use them so the first aim will be to make this series a positive term series all right so let us put mod out of it so if you are put placing your mod okay in this in this series then it's a positive term series now you can use your general uh, test that you know so i will be using ratio test to check the convergence all right so what is ratio test what do you know about ratio test is that limit n goes to infinity un plus 1 by un so let us check this thing i will tell you the uh, ratio test later i will tell you just find out this limit first so what you will get then you will get a to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 to the power b and i think you will get log n plus 1 to the power c all right product uh, you will get n to the power b log n to the power c by a to the power n all right so see this thing that you can write this uh, limit like this uh, you will get a on the numerator and on the denominator you will get this and also you will get okay you have this log n over log n plus 1 to the power c are you getting this or not so what uh, as n goes to infinity this quantity is going to zero all right so you will get one over from this part now this thing is infinity over infinity so what you can do here you can just apply okay uh, you can take limits inside of this power c so what you will get you will get infinity over infinity so by using l hospital rule you can easily check this thing so finally if you will calculate this part then you will end up with this thing that this limit is also equal to 1 all right this is what you have to check yourself it's a limit it, it will make this video very big if i am trying to explain i will i have to introduce l hospital rule all right so that will be big part of the video so you are getting more day all right this video is also this video not video sorry uh, this limit is also 1 and this limit is also 1 therefore you are getting mod a now what do you know about ratio test you know that if this limit is less than 1 then your series actually converges so from here what you are getting we are getting that 
this summation mod of u n will converge if this mod of a is less than are you getting my point so oh, this is not your actual series it's a positive term series you are taking mod so this uh, when you take mod and prove that for this mod of summation mod of u n it converges then you what you are actually doing you are actually proving that summation u n is absolutely convergent absolutely convergent for mod a less than 1 now the values of b and c do not matter to us at all in the convergence part so you can write a belongs to r sorry b belongs to r and c belongs to r are you getting my point so your series converges absolutely for these now what do you know about absolute convergence you know that if a series is absolutely convergent then it is convergent so you finally proved that summation u n is actually convergent for all this all these values so from here what i am proving that in your a option it is actually true that for every value inside this set a where is my cursor okay for every value inside this set a your series is going to converge this is what i have proved up till now now since what you have to do you have to check at boundary points boundary points means what if you will place a mod a is equal to 1 then what will happen if you will what do you know about this you know that mod of a if it is greater than 1 then the series diverges you know that so if you if you if you if you take your mod a to be greater than 1 the value of a to be greater than 1 so then what will happen this series will diverge all right now what we have to do the only case when this test actually uh, fails is the value mod a is equal to 1 mod a is equal to 1 means a is equal to 1 and a is equal to minus 1 are you getting my point so this is how we can show so now we have only b and d option left let me show you them also that why they are correct all right so i should write that from this part of the proof i proved that the option a is actually incorrect option that means it actually provides us the uh, convergence thing for the series now let me do it for b suppose a is 1 it says and b is greater than 1 and c belongs to r then what can happen we have to check that part all right so see if a is 1 and b is a number which is greater than 1 then what will happen this series will turn to be summation u n is equal to summation uh, 1 by n to the power b and you will get log n to the power c and n is moving from 3 to infinity this is what you will get all right so now we will uh, we will take two cases here the first case will be if c is positive if c is positive then you can e easily prove this okay also if c is equal to 0 then also you can easily prove it we will take two cases from here let us say c is uh, greater than or equal to 0 so if c is 0 then what is happening there you are getting this as your series summation 1 by n to the power b are you getting my point if c is uh, great is equal to 0 now since b is greater than 1 then you know by p series test that this series converges if this b is greater than 1 so it's convergent all right so if b is uh, equal, uh, if if c is zero then it is convergent let me now prove it for greater than zero case are you getting my point so what's happening here uh, you will get your series like this summation 1 by n to the power b log n to the power c so now c is greater than zero this is what information you have now what do you know about this log n thing you know that as n, n grows bigger and bigger this log n will go to infinity all right that means 
whatever the value of c you have this thing will be bigger than 1 for some n are you getting my point or not because see this thing that if if it is uh, let us say if it is uh, 1 by 4 and you have only log 2 over here then it, this number is not greater than 1 this number log n i am talking about log n only log n to the power c so firstly see this thing that if c is very small let us say 1 by 10 and you have only log 2 over here then this number is not greater than 1 all right so you cannot write this one what i am trying to write i am writing this because you see you can write this statement only when this log n is greater than 1 otherwise this statement will be a false statement are you get, getting my point now what i am telling you that whatever the value of c you have it will happen that for some n natural number this log n to the power c is greater than 1 why it is possible because you know that log n goes to infinity so whatever c you choose there will always exist some number such that after that number this log n to the power c is greater than uh, 1 are you getting my point because if this c if this c is bigger than 1 there is a then, then there, there is no problem of course because you know that log n will always be bigger than 1 then now if c is less than 1 let us say it's it's 1 by 10 it's 1 by 15 or it's 1 by 100 then you will get you will get problem here because then you will not get this number to be less than 1 but what will happen that after some n natural number this number is going to be bigger, very bigger so whatever root you take it will always be bigger than 1 you got my point now so try to think it over yourself that why this inequality is true after some natural number okay i'm not saying that it is always true for every natural number after some natural number it's true so i will i will apply the summation part now what do you know about series you know that series convergence uh, never never matters by by the by the finite number of terms all right so this thing let us say for all n greater than n naught i will say so n naught is the number after which this inequality is happening so this this thing is less than this that means you know that this series converges why this series converges because it's a p series and b is greater than 1 so all right so that means this series converges now you know that in the series there is uh, the finitely sum of finitely many terms do not affect the affect the convergence of the series you know that part all right so using that part i can say that this series is convergent all right i am using just the comparison test you got my point so now let me proceed to the option number c that why c will be working all right so let me erase okay i should mark that from this option i am proving that b is incorrect because what you are getting okay i okay i forgot one case also that if c is less than zero then what will happen i forgot so the, let me write another case also now doing another case that if c is is a negative number then what will happen let us say c is less than minus one then what will happen you will end up with this thing that your series will turn to be uh, sorry it, it should be zero okay it should be less than zero i should erase this part this video is going to be bigger because the question is little bit difficult to prove all right so you will get this summation 1 by n to the power b log of n to the power c now you know that c is less than 0 that means c is some number some negative number some m is some positive number all right i am just writing it properly let us since it is a negative number so it will be equal to some minus times of some positive number you, you know that so it will be log n to the power m by n to the power b now what you have to prove that if b is greater than 1 now this m this m number is actually less than uh, is, is, is greater than 0 then what you have to prove that this series converges always all right 
so i can give this thing now exercise to you that just check it yourself that why this series is going to be a convergent series okay i can hint you that uh, you you will be needing integral test at some point of time all right and if not then you can also prove it's easy to prove so this is a little bit exercise for you to check why this series is convergent all right so because this video is going to be very bigger or otherwise so now let me come to the c option according to the c option if you will place a minus 1 b greater than 0 and c greater than 0 then your series will be convergent all right so you have this part summation a to the power n okay this a is now since it's minus 1 so i should write summation minus 1 to the power n by uh, n to the power b log n to the power c all right so now see this thing that you have this the, uh, this thing here now see this that since it's an alternating series because of this so you cannot use your normal test that you generally use so what you have to use here you have to use alternating series test and that test is actually known as Leibniz test you have to use Leibniz test over here all right now c is greater than zero and b is also greater than zero that means that this thing 1 by n to the power b log n to the power c goes to 0 because b is positive and c is also positive so as n goes to infinity this term should go to infinity this term should also go to infinity that means infinity into infinity will be infinity so it's going to 0 as n goes to infinity all right also as n increases this sequence is a decreasing sequence I am sorry that I cannot show you the Leibniz test because this, this will take much more time. Just read, read your notes or your books that whatever you have for the Leibniz test and try to read its statement. In the statement what you have to prove that this series is a decreasing C, sorry, this sequence is a decreasing sequence and decreasing to zero. So you sh I have already shown you that it will go to zero and also it's a decreasing. It's a monotonically decreasing sequence therefore by using Leibniz test you can prove that for every b greater than 0 and c greater than 0 uh, your series is going to be a convergent series so finally I proved that why your c option is incorrect are you getting my point so this video was uh, uh, initially if you are in exam you can solve this question in just one second but here I am trying to you, I am trying to make things little bit clear to you about this series. All right, that's why I did C part in in the initially. That that means you can solve this question in exam in just one minute or let us say less than one minute. But in order to prove it generally, it's going to take time because I also gave this exercise. Otherwise, this would have taken much time, much more time. All right. So this is how we should approach problem while we are solving at home. I uh, I am just trying to explain everything to you that what you should do in exam and what you should do in, in your home. While you are at home, you have to always look all the possibility. Otherwise, you will miss, miss many concepts from this question what you can get. All right. So this is how we should solve. Thank you.